Ministers were sworn in today in Rajasthan, but all attention was fixed for the wrong reasons on one particular minister, Golma Devi, who is illiterate and apparently got the post because her husband controls a number of independents. Golma Devi says she will lean on her husband and her peer. Thirteen MLAs were sworn in as ministers of the Gelot government, but it was Golma Devi, wearing a traditional tribal dress, who stole the show. Golma can't read or write, and her main qualification is that she's the wife of Kirodi Lal Meena, a major leader of the powerful Meena community. And Golma plans to use her husband's guidance to run her ministry. And with his wife getting a ministerial chair in the Gelod government, Kirori Lal, a minister in the former Vasundra government, is now ready to take on the duty at home. In reality, Kirori Lal managed the ministership for his wife primarily because he heads a group of five independent MLAs. And Ashok Gelod, who needs the support of independence to run his government, is trying to turn his compulsion into a virtue. While supporters claim it as a triumph of democracy, critics here say that turning an illiterate Golma Devi into a minister amounts to a mockery of democracy. But perhaps it reflects the truth of India's politics today, especially in a hung assembly, where unless you offer ministerial births, it's almost impossible to cobble together a majority. In Jaipur, Rajan Mahan, Fendi TV.